Look at that. The world's smallest flashlight has gotten bigger. But it's better. Because now it's touch control. Look at that. It works perfect. Usually I would have to pull these in and out like some kind of animal. But now, I have the power of touch. More flashlight goodies coming up in future videos for you folks. We've got lighting stuff, flashlights, EDC equipment. Stay tuned. I hope you will like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Welcome to the Philip Cochran channel, my friends. Today, we've got something special. Pause the video, open a new window on your computer, and go and order one of these right now. Or two. Because what do we do when we find a great RC vehicle? We get two. Ha! Um, anyway, I thought this was just an RC-18. It was metal when I saw it. Um, and... This, this scale that these companies use, they're always messing around with this, right? And our name brands, too, right? So this one is Fly Hall. It's called the name branded, right? It looks in some way similar to our... Um, mine was an XK when I got it. But now it's branded as the Will Toys 144001 14th scale. Um... This is pretty popular, and I think you can get this in a couple different versions now, at least with different batteries and so forth, right? So we'll do a quick comparison at the end um, between the two, because I think they're going to be pretty similar. As soon as I opened the box, I ordered two more. They, I just think they're that good, and for the money, this is a no-brainer, right? Some people are really into the scale-looking stuff, and all that's really popular right now, but, you know... For what you get for the money for those things, it's like, you know, this is no comparison, whatever, right? So, um, this is not an RC-18. Um, it is definitely not an RC-18. So, let's uh, show you what you get in the box with the Fly Hall FC-650. I'll take a little look at the rest of the box here. I've got the specifications pulled up between this and our Wheel Toys, and I'll show you that. Now, quick peek in the back. As soon as I opened this, I went, whoa, <laughs> this is no RC-18. <laughs> Look at that huge wheelie bar on there. Um, yeah, that's it. I didn't even go any further. I just ordered another two more to see if they were at the same price. Um, the price is still the same there right now. So again, I'm not here to shill for Banggood or anything like that, but that's where it's available from. So here's what you get. Our car, I've already opened this once. Take it out, at least the car part. Um, I haven't opened the rest of the box there really. There's our accessory bag. We've got charger. I've tried this, it does work fine. We've got a spare battery. One of the things that's, um, there isn't good pictures on this vehicle. So this way you have to take sometimes a little bit of a chance on these things. Um, but you know, I know my RCs, been doing this for a long time and I'm incredibly impressed by this. So I um, hope you'll take that for note. Um, so one of the batteries is already in the car. And in the little box came another battery, so it's a 1600 milliamp 7.4 lithium polymer battery with a Dean's connector or T-type connector, as some people are apt to call it. We've got some extra wheel nuts and hardware and so forth. That's always nice to see included, right? Because wheel nuts go loose and go flying. We've got our standard key wrench, a little screwdriver, and I'm pretty sure that piece is would go on your rear differential, okay, if you remove the wheelie bar. So let's just, well, I'll show you that in a second when we take the body off. So it's got a nice little body to it. Let's pull the car out actually first from there. There's lots more in that box to see. Take a look at the car itself. 
it's really nice guys it's really nice and it passed the drop test pretty good no bounce just boom solid now it's a heavy car for sure it's all metal and every anything that's going to be all metal and aluminum like that is right um they take that into account so let's take a look uh these are wheels take a look at the bottom is when i flip this over they say oh yeah this is no rc18 so what it is is an rc18 designed chassis but it's been stretched much further and widened and so forth and these arms are nowhere near what would be on an rc18 even on their monster truck version uh, rc18 arms are way smaller than this right so but the only complaint i could make about this thing and it's pretty minor so far is it this is just kind of like a paint that's let me refocus you there sorry this is kind of just like a paint that's on the arms it's not proper anodizing what you're seeing on the base plate there on the bottom that's anodizing that's proper aluminum anodizing what you're seeing on these arms is not okay so keep that in mind you can see it's already starting to wear it's brand new and there's there's you know paint coming off on the box already you know for just from shipping so you know just keep that in mind it's um you know and we all with these budget kind of op uh, upgrades that you can get um you know some of them are varying quality some of them are awesome i have aluminum parts that are you know look brand new but they were very expensive aluminum parts right so that's the uh bottom take a look at the front it's got a really nice look and stance to it it's got a, a lot of body work cut out there but you'll see why i think that is in in coming up in a second and then this big wheelie bar on the back and it's nice it's really nicely made solid wheelie bar all right and let's take a look inside so again you can see we've got an rc18 design here but it's nowhere close to it you know they've got and you could easily i think put a full-size servo in that spot um at least one of the short uh body ones for sure so um there's your motor and our heat sink again you can see the specs that i put up earlier on the kv and stuff if you want to double check that it's got a nice uh fan you know it's an all-in-one esc receiver okay you know obviously a weak link but if any part on this car failed <laughs> i'd still be very happy with it right because it's just got so much going for it that it's that well right so sorry the focus doesn't seem to be going too well for me today um so um as you can see the one battery is installed you've got lots of room to put quite a bit bigger battery in there um it's got a little nice little strap on it too the other one had a stop a little plastic stop that i removed or i could you can move it forward there it is there so you can unscrew that and move it up to those holes to put in longer batteries, right? It just kind of stops it from hitting your uh, rocker, me your uh, steering mechanism there, right? Um, so you can see, you know, there's very little plastic on this car. The top braces, the cover here is, um, and your differential covers, right? The bumpers, which you want those to be plastic anyway. Um, so your differential housings, you know, that's about it got a little bit of a plastic you know lip to the tray here um again just a beautiful beautiful car now it's not set up very good the the rear end seems to be towed in kind of properly but you can see the front is bad it's a little bit better when the when the suspension's off it there but it needs some adjustment here and that seems like a great point to talk about some tooling tips and stuff like that um half of you watching this are going to be rc people that are just checking it out to see what it is and there's going to be other people that this could be considering their first rc vehicle or property hobby grade stuff for the price of this thing 112 dollars <laughs> you'd be crazy not to buy this if you were looking you know this blow away any walmart toy that you could ever buy right so um and you know uh, trust me when i tell you that um even if you couldn't buy parts for this from directly from that company that you bought it from there's 
dozens and dozens of RC vehicles that have parts that would be compatible with this. So you wouldn't be um, in trouble by any means, right? So, you know, your, your little God key here, you know, one thing you want to do with any brand new RC vehicle, whether it be a car, a boat, a plane, or whatever, is you want to go over your hardware on it and check it because there's so many screws and nuts and bolts and things on these things, right? That, you know, even the best companies can miss things, right? And, you know, something so simple as just a wheel nut not being tight from the factory. See, that one needed a little bit of a snug. Um, you know, all of a sudden you're your day's ruined because your tire's gone missing. <laughs> so, you know, that's a little um, tip and reminder. Um, it's a good idea to invest in, a you know, some half-decent tools, right? Your um, hex drivers with some half-decent handles is a very good idea. You can get away with, you know, your Allen keys and stuff like that, but these make your life a whole lot easier, right? Um, my set needs to be replaced because the tips are getting wear, but these were Intigy and I've had them for 15 years and they've done a lot of work. So as far as um, drivers and stuff go, you know, again, you can get away with a little, you know, cheap multi-kit, something like that. It's got all your pieces in it, but having, um, you know, Dedicated drivers really makes the job a whole lot different. These are very old, but they're, you know, of a uh, half decent quality. They're electrical style. That's why the tip, the, the shank is insulated on them. But um, the tips on these are in very good condition, even though they've worked for me for 20 plus years, right? You know, so sometimes you don't have to spend a lot of money to get um, half decent quality. Um, you know, some kind of little knife kit is a kind of a definite must for RC and hobby stuff there. Maybe not too much for RC. Um, little small pliers. And I like to have something that's got some kind of 45 on it, right? And these little tweezer things here, I tell you, these are, um, you know, indispensable. They're so handy to get into tight plates just to hold something or whatever. Um, again, you know, it's a must have. and It'll make your, you know, whole experience a, a lot nicer. So, um, Let's uh, show you what else comes in the package because there's more. We've got a whole new set of tires. Big monster truck style tires, right? So this would be what you would call a truggy setup if you're not familiar with the terminology. And you can see the size of that tire. It's quite a bit bigger. Let's pop a couple out and take a look at these. They don't feel like the highest quality, you know, tires. Um, I don't think there's any foam in there or anything like that, maybe. Um, but, you know, again, RC is RC is what it is, right? So, you know, you can see they've, they've you know, got a little bit of glue spilled on them and stuff like that, right? But no doubt to buy a set of these tires from this company, they probably charge you $25, $30 for them, right? Um, so very nice to have. Um, I plan to drive mine in a little bit of snow because it could be snowing out now, I think. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so that's really going to help with some extra traction. So you get a set of four of those. Huge bonus. So it was a car, two batteries, whole set of uh, wheels. Sorry, get that out. Come out. And uh, the controller, the tools, um, for $112. Now, I think if you wanted the three battery version, it went to $180 or something like that, like crazy, you know. So um, there's your controller. Pretty basic. It feels pretty light, but it's um, definitely got a nice ergonomic uh, feel to it. We're going to pop some batteries in here and fire this up and bind it. got here some double A's. One of my very first vehicles getting back into RC, you know, like as an adult, um, was an RC 18. And, you know, I wanted to go buy something big and, you know, flashy like a Revo or a Savage or something like that, right? And the guy at the store said, you know, you should maybe 
tried something a little bit smaller and easier. You know, he was pretty good actually. Um, uh, see if you like the hobby, you know, cause it's not just about bombing around, right? You know, it's, there's a little bit more involved to it, right? If, if you want to get the most out of it, right? So there we go. Our lights flashing already. So, cause the power was already on. Um, let's plug her in. Cross your fingers, folks. Smoke test. I heard beeping. There's a little tiny switch there. The fan's going on the ESC. You can hear it spinning up. It's pretty quiet though. Steering. It feels pretty nice. Obviously it's bound up right away from the box. Full. Reverse. Well, everything seems to be working good. I don't want to skid up my nice wood surface there, but <laughs> she's got some power. I have no doubt that it would go the speed that they're saying that it would go. Um, and you could probably put a much bigger, better battery inside this thing. I have no doubt that it might take a, a three cell, maybe even, right? And again, I don't care. I've got lots of um, speak if it doesn't if it burns out on the three cell then I'll just replace the speed control and put a better one in it anyway for thirty dollars right and be able to run it on a three cell right you know or four cell this thing's gonna honk they put a wheelie bar on it for a reason so um so anyway that's our quick little unboxing it wasn't quick at all I know but uh you know again these videos are the length that they are so you take them for what they are. What they are. If you only want to watch five minutes, that's okay. Um, and if you don't want to watch them at all, that's okay too. Um, so um, we'll do a little film test as soon as I can. Um, if I can add it onto this video, I will. If I can't, I'll make another little separate video of it. I think it deserves it. I've got some new GoPros already ordered. They should be here like any time. So hopefully I can get some better... Um, uh, some actual RC footage for you guys, right? So let's compare this to our Will Toys and take a look at the difference because they're about the same money right now. Actually, the Will Toys is more money and it's not all metal and it's not brushless. So, yeah, hard choice. Okay, so here's our Will Toys. I've only used this a couple of times because, you know, I've got lots of other things and lots of other projects on the go. This was just thought it was a really good deal. It was actually one of the first new RCs that I bought in quite a long time. Um, did that come with it? Yeah, I think that came with it. Again, this is how they kind of come packaged. It's not too fancy, but it's adequate and it does the job. I just keep the radio in the box with this thing here because you will not find more efficient packaging than the box that it comes in, folks, right? So, you know, I I don't have a big place, but I like to have a lot of stuff, so I leave things in the box so I can stack them and, and you know, sort them and stuff uh, easily. So, there's our, there's our two side by side. Mm, they look pretty much the same to me. Where's the body? Uh, where did you put it? Right, there it is. The body's a little bit different, obviously. Let's stick up there because I got the battery plugged in. You can see what the difference, the kind of the body, just the body alone makes a little bit different. This one only seems to come in red. Now you can get this one in, in um, three or four different colors. It's available now, but that looks the same to me. Um, now, this guy is, you see, I've got a bigger battery in that one already because um, I took out that piece and moved it forward. So you can just have a little bit larger size. So this guy has your brushed motor in it, not brushless, um, which, you know, I mean, nowadays brushless is becoming so cheap that, um, you know, I think they're just getting rid of these, right? And that's why this one came out. The tires are a little bit skinnier, um, not quite as much grip on the 
wheel toys to that. Um, other than that, Looks like they're using the same chassis. So those would be the arms, but in plastic version. This is compared to your metal version. Um, so right away, this thing, even with the battery in it, is a fair bit lighter than this guy. Okay, so I don't have a little scale here. I've got a new one of those coming too, because I'd like to show you the difference between the weight, because that is important. That's uh, significant, you know. It means it can have good things and bad things to it, you know. It's good and bad when it comes to a heavy vehicle, right? So just quickly, without getting too, too much detail, um, the amount of um, unsuspended weight on your suspension of a vehicle right, will determine its reaction speed. So the heavier arm, right, is going to react slower to suspension inputs than, you know, a lighter plastic arm. Now, these two are set up totally different here. There's barely any oil, if anything, I think, in these shots. They're just, they're almost just um, bouncing. And that's literally how it came out of the box. Again, I, I've only driven this a couple times. I've had it for more than a year, but I've only driven it once or twice, right? Um, this one just seems to be, as far as the shocks go, is set up very nice. You can see, uh, as it is, they're very, they're very soft and supple, right? Um, which is how shocks are supposed to be. So there's a comparison between the two. Yes, they are the same vehicle, um, with a brushless motor. Obviously the ESC and stuff is a little bit different. It's nice to have a fan on there too. Um, but you've got the brushless motor, um, you've got... You know, the extra tires with this one as well makes it well worth the money to to have it. Um, this one comes with two batteries. This one comes with two of these. They were a smaller battery. But I think you have different options now. Like you can get some with some different size batteries or um, LiPo versus Lion or something like that, right? So, um, you know, this one gives you a couple more choices. This one gives you some better hardware. Um, buy two, what the heck, <laughs> buy them both. So that's our show for you today, folks. I know it was a long one, but I uh, hope you got something out of it. Uh, love and peace to you from Canada, and we are YouTube.